probably so hard to watch some of this. Oh, fuck. It's a lot of zombie noises I'm hearing. I don't see anything in here besides the exit I saw. So we're going that- uh, there might be stuff up there, but I don't know. Cold? We're near the jewel of death. Called the soul of the crumb. That's what that vile cold is. Is that where all the zambos come from? I have a bad feeling about this. I'm sorry, you have a bad feeling about the gem of death? Just so we're clear about that, you have a bad feeling about the, the gem of death? Oh, it's a hole in the world. Whoops. Things are warmer. I sense a defiler. We're leaving the jewel behind. I can't just spread its filth and warmth. Defeat the Lich. Can't imagine why that might be difficult. Uh, do, I, do, do I need to find a phylactery, or is this game expecting me to know that? Ow. Holy shit. Wow, that's a lot of damage. And a lot of lightning flying around. God damn. Could you stand closer to one of your zombies, please, so I can mind control him? Into a killing you, I hope. Oh, you're just gonna wipe him out. Ow. Jesus. That hurt. Ah. That probably felt great, right? Arrow biting into your flesh. Kind of out of reach a little bit right now, isn't it? Come back up here, buddy. Come back up. Definitely wish that the vision thing was a toggle, just so I didn't have to reset it every few seconds. Never get up, please. Yeah, boss fights aren't this game's strong point, is it? Adrenaline and KO, that should be super dangerous, right? There we go. They, tr they try, but boss fights are not this game's strong suit. Just having a bunch of guards that you have to outsmart and outmaneuver and kill with the environment and stuff like that. Is really where the game where the, where the game is fun. Not like this guy is hard to kill, but he also ragdolls like everyone else, which I'm not complaining because otherwise I'd be like, how do you fight him if he doesn't have the physics things that everyone else does? Seems like he'd have other problems then. So was that all of them? Ooh. Did I not get the point? Oh, I, I don't need six. I need eight. Right. Find the life gem called the Matron's Heart with a Fallen Prophet. I'm missing that one. The fact that this has a boss fight makes it feel like it was supposed to be the last one. So I might have missed one. 
Staff of the Fire Lord. That's the same one I already had, right? Yeah. I'm not super fond of the instant kill traps that happen sometimes just because it feels like they're, that, that you're just encouraging people to, to spam quick save constantly at that point. Because it's really just, it feels like just a test of whether or not you've saved recently. Above all else. Up we go. But where is the one I missed? Ah, uh, which way do I want to go? It's real dark. Is this a new place? Go in the spikes. God damn it. Back the other way. God damn it. I'm like, just go in the spikes. It's all I want from you. Why can't you just knock back? Why can't you fall in the spikes? So what's down here? There. I can sense another gem. The matron's heart. Quickly. It represents life and birth. Alright, well there's nothing that way. I mean, she says the gem's kind of that way probably, but I mean like I can't go anywhere that way. Woo! <laughs> I kind of thought the lich was going to wipe out all of the zombies, but apparently it was just that localized room of them and nothing else. Join me, friend. Fight. I'm out of stamina. Shit. It's really rough fighting dudes that can, like, two-shot you, admittedly. But it, I like that it encourages me to deal with the systems more than I would if I was just obliterating, every, obliterating everyone, basically. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's a bad spot to be in. That's a real bad spot to be fighting dudes in. Uh, lots of narrow hallways around here. What am I stuck on? Oh, there we go. Is there a dude for you to fight? That's what I thought. Oh man, this is a real awkward place to fight. I thought I'd be more capable of pushing them into spikes, but that was like a struggle too. I believe that's the sound of someone getting killed by someone. Go mess that dude up. Oh, he didn't last. I think I just jump off a cliff or something. I'm not really sure what I just heard. Can they not see me? Hi. What? I thought my health was full. Did I not have full health? Are they just so strong they can one-shot me now sometimes? Cause goddamn. Yeah, my health is full. He just slapped me in one hit. Holy shit. This is why I quick save so often. There we go. I assume they're both dead. I hope they're both dead. Another ring of regeneration. Not I think it's super, it has super slow regen, doesn't it? Which is kind of crazy, considering how Don't much health you have. Sarath. You can jump, as long as you hit the water. Kind of looks like Sunken King from Dark Souls 2. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Running, running. Get in the spikes! Jesus Christ! 
They just do not want to fall on those spikes. Alright, got it. So what can we find around here? I was worried that I missed one, but I guess not. This just seems like not. Really gotta center where I'm walking there, or I'll walk right into a spike. Here's one of these things, which I think is basically a light source, and that's it. Really? Hmm. You give me a straw effigy, and I just figured somehow burning it would cause like a secret or something. Guess not. Oh boy. Oh. Did the gap get even bigger? It did. Somebody likes Lord of the Rings, apparently. All right, I see. A little hard to reach. Those might technically get me way across the gap. But maybe not much further. I think this is supposed to be like a staggered series of ropes that lets you get to the top. Don't know if I'll be able to make it to, to there. Oof. Oh, that also these ledges here. Those would help. Oh, jeez. That looked like it was going to miss somehow. Ah, ah. Climb. Come on, man. The gem, it's back the other way. Go back. Oh, this poor game. It tries so hard. <laughs> It falls apart so much. Uh oh, that was a that was a worrying stumble for a bit there. The smart thing to do is probably jump to that rope. There we go. Gets me on top of you. Now we can plan how to get higher. I think getting up here is intentional. Like there's something up here. Oh yeah, there's there's a box. Oh no. It's fine. Maybe. Shit. No. God damn it. Why aren't the ropes coming out? That's not going to help me. Good luck. Uh. Okay, it worked. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so much bad is happening. You found a secret area. The good news is, found a secret. The bad news is, this isn't where I'm supposed to go. So I need to figure out where I'm supposed to go. More scrolls. What is so shiny in here? Oh, Shadow Steel daggers. That go along with my Shadow Steel staff? So this is plus five. Plus four, and then also plus eight. Lightning. No, that's not them. Shadow Steel daggers. Stealth three, damage plus six. But I don't have it. And I don't have, uh... Can't use it. Stealth 3 is probably never happening. Honestly. I'm 
trying to look through these to see if some of these are like more pointless now. Yeah, this N Naga Silk Sword sucks. Goodbye. This one's marginal. It does one more damage to my current thing at 4% crit, but it also requires two points into the thing I'm not going down. Nah, I think strength I think strength's gonna be the way to go, so let's just give up on the crit weapon. You're a bow though. I should keep I feel like I should keep my bow upgrade around. Just in case. This is a different category of weapon as opposed to my strength weapons I'm pretty kinda committed to, I think. These both require strength three. One of them heals you and one of them is anti-undead. So they're kind of opposites of each other a bit. Yeah, this one's clearly, this one's anti-undead and this one's pro-necromancer. Bow of Winter's Breath. Can, it can sometimes freeze guys. I, I have that spell. Let's move on from that idea. I just can't deal with the inventory space issues. Alright, we found ourselves a secret. Honestly, why did I put that away? Uh, you. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need you. Jesus. I'm sorry, how much rope- uh, look how tiny that rope is! God damn it. I thought there was- I thought I, I thought I put a rope down, but the darkness kind of obscured it. Ow. Not my finest moment, to be sure. Matthias, Oracle of the Third Doom. Where's the last one said it's supposed to be? A fallen prophet. Arch Revelator. Chainmail armor. Who is screaming all the time? So many stock screams we're all familiar with. Just wondering what the hell. But once you, uh, I really should have grabbed that with telepathy. Fuck it! Oh, I bounced. Oh. Well, I survived. I was trying to jump for the ledge, but okay. Please climb. There we go. Uh, oh, there's a way back up, I guess. Nothing there. What's the glowy bit? The, there we go, the Majin's Heart. I was like, is the game gonna recognize that I just finished the objective? I wasn't sure. So now we're going to the spider statue. Ooh, secret? Maybe? Maybe. Or... Is this the... This is the door I saw earlier. Crazy. Okay. So that's where, this is where the one zombie was. Hello. How do I go about getting back? Oop. Do I go back the long way? I'm not sure. 
I'm a, I'm a, mm. let's, ch I don't, I don't know what to think, man. First of all, ow, stop that. Get off of me. Fucking, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, I need to just kill that guy. I'm just trying to get around him. He's in the most frustrating location physically possible, basically. There we go. I don't know what to expect here. Like, should I look for a way that takes me back to the beginning? Or do I need to do, like, a ton of backtracking, basically? Are all of my ropes gone? Just those two. Those ones are still there. Can't tell if there's even a level behind that, honestly, that gate. You very well may have to go back the long way. Rod on for Seer. Your grave thing is still closed. Prophet of Fate. I think her grave's the one that fell down, and that's where I got the item from. I think that's the idea. Can't go down from here. Uh, oh shit. Well, that's not what I was going for. Yeah, I don't know. I can't with any confidence say that there's a way to quickly get back to the beginning. So maybe I just have to hoof it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck was I looking at just now? That was weird. Um. After what I did, I actually kind of lost track of how I got into the. Uh, how did I get in this room? Was it the was it the doors down there? No, there must be another exit, because I don't think I can go back from here. I don't think. I think I came in through those doors, and then they closed or something. And then that's just it. There must be something I'm just missing about how to go back. And it must be upstairs because they gave me like a looping doorway that led me back upstairs to where that one zombie was. That seems to indicate something. Guess who's sick of your shit? There we go, that's all I had to do. And then it dissolves away like half the enemies from Half-Life 2, because this is a Source Engine game. And is, that must be just built into the engine, the thing where the ra the, mo the corpse ragdolls, but floats into the air and then just disappears in particle li particles of light. It's just a weird reoccurring thing. I'm not entirely sure what the deal of that is. Gotta just be somewhere you can go. Can't read the inscription. That's just like a light.
Can't open these. Most logical thing to think is that that one door at the end of the hallway opens somehow. But I'm not sure how. There's this weird side thing, like this goes somewhere, and then there's like a thing in it. It might come down to you have to figure out what to do with this thing. It's so weird. It stands out so strangely, almost like it's a puzzle mechanic of some sort. There just does not seem to be an interaction with it, it does, and it doesn't glow as being a secret, at the very least. Which either means it does nothing, or it's uh, not a secret, it's just supposed to be what you have to do, maybe. In which case, I don't know what that is. No! Uh, no, what? Thanks, game. <laughs> I hit spacebar and he just, he just didn't jump. That's weird. He just let go. Huh. Yeah, don't do that, please. <laughs> Man, if this guy knew how many deaths we've had related to this robo, he would not have confidence in it at all. Thanks. <laughs> the physics is so weird. So I, I jumped forward, but my ankle slightly touched the little curb thing. So then it just made me fly the, off in a different direction entirely. Weird. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, there's a le- There's a lever right next to it! In the dark, and I wasn't spotting it. Ah, uh, you idiot. You idiot. You idiot. Get one job, not be that idiot. What? Get out of here. Isn't that a slot I should put it into? Or is that where I got it from? Oh well. Supposed to go upstairs, right? We've made it at long last. I apologize for, uh, everything, basically. Ah! Sarath? I can see you. Oh, what's happening? It must be the gems. They're doing this. The skull is close now. Can't you feel it calling to you? The final gem, Seraph. It draws us together. Can you feel me in your blood like fire? Oh yes, my prince. We will be together. Forever. She makes me feel uncomfortable. I feel like... Ah! I think I need an adult. Earth fire, 6 plus 12. Don't need, don't need a, a normal plus 5 anymore. I don't really need you either. 6 plus 12, so who needs 3 plus 6? I'm just casually looking at stats when I should be watching the cool laser show. I've seen so many, I've seen so many like space and magic lasers that are supposed to be so hype at this point that's actually, I have trouble paying attention to them now. It's funny. And shoom. I have, wow this is a Daedric weapon, look at this thing. This, this is, yeah. This is the kind of crap I would go after in Oblivion and be like, yeah, I got it, I got the Daedric setup. Oh, it has a, it has trails behind it, look at that. Oh, the fire trails, that's great. 